part of things do we want to get into first? Because there um, is a couple things to talk about. The ferret. I think there's a lot of stuff in the second part of the episode to get into. Yeah. Um, I will say, first half of the episode was a little slower than usual. Um, not only yeah, the, a little the, bit. the Navarro part, but the kind of like the base part, I was like... Uh, and then when it was the experiment part, then it was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. After that, it got a little bit better. But yeah, pace, other than that, it was all fine. Pace kick, uh, kicked up a bit once they got into the, um, yeah, mm. once they got to the sort of the, we're starting to enter the mystery of what's going on. Mm. Uh, yeah. I think it's just, it went, very much reminded me of um, last season's, how was it? The, the episode the episode on the, with the bounty hunters on the, the prison oh, ship. Oh, yeah. Where it's yeah. it kind of, things are sort of fairly sort of slow until until they start t- they turn on mando and then things yeah. are like yeah it's it's at some points it's slow it's still good plot but it just can be a little bit slow at times just from yeah lots of stalking through things. corridors was yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. which is fine you yeah. know yeah. like there are episodes that are like that so it was like eh. and then it got interesting with the experiment part so why don't yeah. we just jump into that part i <laughs> that was very interesting the i'm f- thinking that i am very happy with the theorizing that we had about it being um that exactly what they're doing with the child is they're working on cloning trying to clone force sensitives part yeah. of palpatine's plan and i'm thinking now it's going to happen as part of palpatine's plan trying to clone him they're going to have a failed attempt at cloning him and that's going to result in snoke i was actually going to ask about that because you alex yeah i wrote that in my notes because i needed to re- remember that yeah you were like oh it might be snoke as well and i was like i went back and i was like oh shit it actually might be because yeah. it does look like because everyone else going to ask like because I was confused as well, like, what Snoke was. Because I was like, mm. I've never seen anything like him in the Star Wars universe. So that kind of makes yeah. sense if it was a failed experiment. I, my fear is, and the thing that makes me very confident about it, is you, you probably can't show this in this video just for copyright reasons. But <laughs> if, you, if, you peel, if you go and listen to it, um, the music that plays, which is easy, easily accessible now, because um, last night, literally last night, they released the soundtrack mm. and the track that plays when they see the experiments sounds now to, 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 pre- to preface this ludwig very rarely quotes musical stuff from other star wars things it's almost always like e- more or less everything is like so his original sort of music there's never really been like a, a motif in the music that's like from something else when in in mando right but the track that plays when i see the experiments is ridiculous ridiculously close to snoke's throne room music from last mm. jedi i was thinking that too when listening yeah. to it because i i couldn't play it loudly because again copyright and yeah youtube's annoying but mm. yeah i went back and rewatched the episode often and then i was like oh that sounds familiar so yeah i think it's hinting towards yeah. that and if you compare the um yeah if you get if you compare the the track that it's the track is literally called experiment in um on the soundtrack for mando and that nice. track in the opening part of it Sounds so close to the first, not the phone room music of Snoke from Force Awakens, but the phone room music of Snoke from The Last Jedi, which also sounds very, very similar to the uh, opera scene in Revenge of the Sith music. Yeah. So, which now makes sense that make, makes sense that they sound similar in The Last Jedi. If you know Snoke is connected to Palpatine, this is the Palpatine slash Snoke dark side music motif. Now. Motif, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. They're def- this is definitely Palpatine's plan, and I think that that's what's going to happen. They're going to be working on Palpatine, trying to clone Palpatine, trying to get him back, and something's going to go wrong, and they're going to uh, create mm. Snoke, which leads yeah. to another theory that I have. This is There's no evidence about this. This is literally just my thought process was if I was writing the show, if I was in charge of the show, I would do this because it would be a really cool thing to do, and I really hope they do it. It's one of those theories where it's like, it's less so evidence to think they will do it, just a really massive hope they will do it because of how cool it will be. Now, they mentions the Doctor mentions the volunteer. You refer to the volunteer, right? For, now, what's interesting about that, uh, a couple of people have theorized, like, sort of comments on YouTube and stuff, a couple of people have theorized that what's going on here is that Moff Gideon wants to, like, he, he wants to give himself force powers, right? Were you reading my comments? Because I was literally just about to I, say that. Yeah, I saw, I yeah. saw someone comment said that, yeah. And I think I saw someone else on, t- someone else on Twitter mention it. I saw it, a couple, a couple of people mentioned it, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that the whole thing, like, I think that, yeah, they're, they're working on fully that Gideon's, like, sort of a major part of this, this whole plan to try and bring back Palpatine. That's what they're doing. They're trying to clone clone yeah. four sensitives in the plan to bring up Palpatine, right? 
but I would not be against the idea of him maybe on the side trying to figure out if there's some way through their testing that he could give himself force abilities. I wouldn't be against that, but I don't think that's the end goal here. Yeah. His his main goal here, I think, is to get is to work on this for Palatine. Though I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to do something himself, maybe. Yeah, because like kind of like what the commenter said in my comments was saying, mm. like he wants to be the next Vader, and I was like, maybe mm. it's not that, but maybe he does yeah. want a really high position. Maybe perhaps not like of like a Vader yeah. sort of figure, um, but yeah, someone who has like his own sort of power and maybe his own like yeah. pocket of power within yeah. the new empire. Because, oh, yeah. I mean, if he, if he does bring back Palpatine, and that is what the plan is working on, which I'm pretty sure it's what we're working on, and we know they're working mm -hmm. on because that's what happens by the 30 years from now. Yeah. 20, well, 25 years from now, actually. Yeah. Yeah, now it's 25 um, years. And so, basically, uh, what do you call it? I, f I feel like, pardon me, I feel like um, if he's trying, if they're working on a plan to bring back, bring back Palpatine, but he's also on the side trying to, give himself force powers, that's not going to go over so well when Palpatine comes back and you go, oh, hi, oh, no. I, I I used your plan to power myself up. It's like, that's not going to go over well. So I don't think you'd be smart to try and do that. Yeah. So he might be possibly looking out on the side, maybe, but I think it's yeah. more like he just wants, he wants power and he has a dark saber, not so much because he wants to be a force user and have a lightsaber, but because of what it stands for him having power over Mandalorians and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and especially because he yeah. was, they, he, they said that he was involved with the purge, right, of Mandalorians. Yeah, he yeah. was involved so with... I think I think yeah. he wants that power over specifically Mandalorians than just the yeah. whole entire universe. I think it's just more yeah. Mandalorians. Yeah. I mm. think the the Siege of Mandalore as it just described when he talked about it. Siege of Mandalore as we knew it back this time last year when Gideon referred to it in the final episode. Um was the second or last episode? Anyway, no final episode, yeah. When he referred to it. We all think like, yeah, Clone Wars, like Ahsoka and her troops, like CG Mandalore to go and take down Maul. I'm thinking it's more than that. I think it's like that happens. And then they, the Republic sides like retreat a bit now that they've captured everything. But then once Order 66 was called, Empire's called, then it began the second siege, well, second yeah. phase of the siege where it's now not no longer uh, Crimson Dawn uh, and the Shadow Collective versus the Republic and the Remnants of Death Watch, but Death Watch and Mandalorians versus the Empire now assaulting yeah. the planet. And that's when... As he described it, the Night of a Thousand Tears happens. That's when I think they just they just like burnt Mandalore to the ground almost, yeah. and that's like what, unfortunately, the clones would have been involved in because yeah. they were already yeah. on the Empire side at that point. But that's what I think Gideon was involved with as an Imperial uh, a Republic officer. That then he was sent to go and oversee that. So he wasn't there when Ahsoka was there, but when he was there, yeah, to he, oversee, he probably wouldn't have been yeah. there when Ahsoka. You was know what there. just occurred to me just this second? Mm -hmm. Is that Gideon's gonna know who Ahsoka is from Clone Wars? From the Clone that's Wars. the thing. I was gonna yeah. bring that up because someone else spoke to me in my comment section yeah. and was like, "If uh, they did like a whole mess paragraph, I can't say it off by heart, but mm -hmm. if he finds out that Ahsoka is on that planet and that Din's going to go and see her, um, and if his plan is to become a Force wielder, he may instead mm -hmm. use Ahsoka, but also yeah. he could use ah, Ahsoka for sorry. the experiments for the cloning system for Palpatine." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I definitely think that, yeah, it, it would, he would know who she is. He seems to know everything about, he went to, he saw the records of Mandalore. He seems to know everything going on. So exactly. he would know that she was the one yeah. that sieged Mandalore with the Republic before. And versed them all. So he'll yeah. know that she's very powerful. So he'll know who she is, which is. And that she's an ally and contact of Bo-Katan's as that well. That's true as well, yeah. yeah. So, um, so it all kind of like click for yeah. Gideon. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, it just occurred to me. Yeah. Which is scary, yeah. This is this is this is just completely random. It's just popped in my okay. head. It does it doesn't mean anything. It's just literally I, I have I've had the last five seconds to think about this. So you go to me, I wonder if you're going like the rules of um the rules of like like in Harry Potter and how you have to beat the person that, that has this wand to get lead ownership of the wands. Mm -hmm. And technically, Bo and Sabine never fought Maul in combat and beat him, but Ahsoka did. He took the Darksaber and won in combat, and then Ahsoka did beat Maul in combat, even though he didn't have Darksaber at the time, but she was the last person to beat him in combat, and it's like... Mm, yeah. I don't know, it just occurred to me, just to think, if he tries to fight her... That's the thing, why didn't Maul have the Darksaber? Uh, he left it on Daphomir. That's oh, literally all okay. we know, I think. It's literally, <laughs> okay. like, li literally his Grievous and Dooku and Palpatine went to Daphomir, they killed Mother Talzin in front of Maul. Oh, yeah. He retreated, the Separatists just laid waste to Daphomir, um, he left it on the ca in the cave on Daphomir, and then next we see of it is in Rebels, 
15 no about 18 years later when Maul and, and Ezra are back on Daphomir and he shows it to mm. him as like he left it here it's yeah. like so that's that I, he left it there for like to, for like 18 years we don't know why he just sort of did um but and I, I assume he would have oh yeah he probably would have left it there it's never fairy this is completely off topic but yeah that's the all right. reason for that is um that his double blade lightsaber in siege of mandalore appears to be his lightsaber and then ventress's yellow lightsaber from uh from dark disciple dark disciple that was left with her body on daphomir Mm. um quinlan left with her uh, body on daphomir so it would make sense that if he just found a random lightsaber if he found her lightsaber on daphomir and he re- he corrupted the crystal turned it red reconstructed his double blade lightsaber and then left the dark saber there because he doesn't need it while he has the double blade yeah true yeah. so that's yeah. probably that's probably why it's there because he had two lightsaber yeah a double yeah. blade he doesn't need it anymore yeah, yeah, yeah um and so he left it there for safekeeping um as for yes yeah, so anyway back to this theory um so, yeah, so obviously they're working on uh, the Palpatine stuff. They refer to the volunteer. I don't think the volunteer is Gideon on top of the no. fact that I just don't think it's him. The fact that the guy referred to the volunteer in a message where he was directly speaking to Gideon. Yeah, it so, wouldn't be Gideon. Yeah, Even he, I was thinking like, like, it, yeah. like if, it, if he did turn into Snoke, that would be interesting. But I don't think he would yeah. risk himself becoming that, like at the risk yeah. of dying. So, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I, I don't think it's him. I, I think the whole notion of him saying, you know, saying saying the volunteer while I message to Gideon, if it was just if it was Gideon that's gonna do this, he'd just say, I, I advise we don't go ahead with the experiments or the tests. He wouldn't say, you know, the he wouldn't say the volunteer the volunteer shouldn't go yeah. ahead with it, you know. But so then I was starting to think, okay, the volunteer. And this idea, this is one that is just like there's literally there's no evidence towards this. It would make sense, it would fit perfectly, I think. But there's no evidence. It's just something that popped in my head. I think this would be a great idea. I would love for them to do this. I've literally written it down in my notes and I've underlined it twice. Um, <laughs> this is just an idea popped in my head. Is what if the volunteer is a human male that's going to be played by Andy Serkis? And this is, we'll get to see the man that will become Snoke. Oh, that would be sick. And that would be really cool. Just to give, just seeing Andy as like Snoke, but as a human. That, that would, be... would be cool. And <laughs> so then, be really good actually, if they can get him on the show. Yeah. And I, I feel like he would do it. Yeah, and I think yeah. that would be really cool because, like, it occurred to me, who else would the volunteer be? The volunteers, it's not gonna be somebody we know because somebody that we know isn't gonna turn into Snoke, but yeah. presumably. Um, and it says that basically, from what it seems like they're working on, the volunteer has to be whoever's gonna become Snoke. Presumably, it would make sense for the person to become Snoke to be played by Andy Circus because. Yeah. You know, then it's the, the same actor playing Snoke as the guy that's playing the. And also, he's an amazing actor, and yeah, you can exactly. Do, he can manipulate yeah. his voice to kind of sound similar. Yeah, he's just such a good voice actor as well, yeah. so he can just do that so easily. So, so yeah, yes, yeah, so that's my theory. That I think. And oh, that I, I think hope the, so. Imagine would, like if he, they could get him yeah, on the show, that, I'd be so happy. Yeah, that is something like that is that is pure speculation. There is nothing to back that up, but it's literally I just thought. Who else could the volunteer be but the person that's going mm. to become Snoke? And thought, if that is the case, I really, really, really hope that Andy is like a human. That then, because put it this way, Snoke, I don't think he's an, I don't think he's an alien species. Never, never sort of confirmed he's an alien species. And on top of that, if they're working to clone Palpatine, why would they be cloning alien species? They'd be just working yeah. on humanoids, like on humanoids. So then, my theory being, well, Snoke's just a failed clone of a human. And he's like sort of deformed mm. clone yeah. of a human. Yeah, because when and I first so, saw Snoke, I thought he was yeah. just another alien species, like you said. And yeah. I was like, I've never seen him before, so I'm just gonna guess. But yeah, like with this like experiments not working properly, like he may be able to use the force like we did see. He can use the force, but yeah. he can't like really use a lightsaber, etc. Like his body's not like fit for that. Yeah, so. he's not designed for hey, let's just this this is this is really really reaching here. But oh, that's so good. it did occur to me. Wait, let me see, does he have does he have let me just get a picture of him real quick does he have let me look at his i kind of does i oh, know it's just more than nails i was gonna say his na- i was gonna say his nails are kind of like i, I want to see if his fingers are like kind of point like um 
His hands were like, huge. That's what I remember. His hands like are huge. His, his, hands, his hands are huge, and his the hands like like claws on them a little bit. And just, mm. I mean, this is really reaching for huh claws, huh? Kind of like Yoda's species has like the pointed nails. That means nothing. But if he no, has some DNA, if he has some DNA, wait though. If they did get the kid, and yeah. I don't know, maybe he grew up during the experiment. I see. I I think that. I, I could buy. That would be that, nuts, though. I could that would buy. Be crazy. I, I I could buy that Snoke is a deformed human clone because he has Yoda's species of alien blood in him, and so he's sort of a weird. Mm, yeah. He didn't. He didn't. It's not a full clone of a human. Like they tried to make him just a human clone using this blood, but it resulted in him being a bit weird because of it. Yeah. Not um, it being baby Yoda, because also the ears. Yeah. Yeah. The ears, I, 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 so, yeah. I, I did check his ears. So I was just checking. Like, does he have funny yeah. ears? No, he definitely doesn't. Nah. Um, but yeah, it's just, I, I don't know how it will work. Mm. I don't know if he'll be. Uh, they did say, mind you, they did say, which is why I can understand the idea that it could be Gideon. And it could be Gideon. I just find it weird they refer to the volunteer when he's talking to Gideon mm. directly. Um, but. Uh, the fact that I checked the wording of it just earlier, and he says, he says, I don't believe the volunteer will survive the transfusion. So they're going to try and pump this volunteer full of metachlorian, that's that's something we'll get to in a second, metachlorian filled mm. blood. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that, because like they said, yeah, the child's um, M count is referred to, that has to be metachlorians. We know from something, something as much as people disliked it back in the day. It's thing that when Anakin's blood is tested, everyone's testing it for the metachlorian count in it. So M count in the child's blood, that has to be what it's about. Yeah. Um, and we're told already from like just how powerful Yoda is and just presumably Yoda species, their blood is saturated with it. So uh, I, that's why I assume that that's why they want the child specifically. Um, and so they're going to presumably try and get a high M count blood and this this volunteer is going to be pumped full of this and that's going to be maybe they'll then try and clone him i don't know what they're going to do maybe they're looking at which i could buy i could buy very easily because at this point let's say palpatine doesn't have his body yet the way mm. they worded it in rise of skywalker makes it made it seem like he died and immediately his spirit hopped into a body that had waited yeah. for him and he was ready to go i think it's more he's sort of just floating around in the ether waiting yeah. so maybe what they're going for, what's going to happen is it'll be like, uh, say there's this guy who's played by Andy Serkis is going to become Snoke and they're going to try and get him metachlorians in his bo- in his blood, get him connected with the force. So then he like, he has force power. And once he does, then Palpatine can like inhabit him because he'll have a host body that's connected with the force and then he can do it. And maybe even that's been done already. And maybe the reason these experiments are failing is Palpatine is, they're making a body that can handle it. Palpatine is possessing the body, but then his power is deteriorating the body. Mm. And maybe and also that's, probably his yeah. darkness is too strong for them to handle. Yeah. Mm. So that would be an interesting idea. I'm not sure if they do that, but an interesting idea of Andy Circus could potentially be playing a human possessed by Palpatine. Mm. Yeah, and even cool. if we don't even get the mention of Palpatine, if we just mm. see Andy Circus, maybe, and then yeah. we're just like the and obvious we, we, connection. We're just, we're just told that he's like he's being controlled by a dark spirit or something. Exactly. You know. So that's entire. I think that's probably the case that Palpatine's spirit is just sort of waiting around, waiting for a body that can handle him because even his clone body in, in rise of skywalker that one it was definitely a clone of him even that body couldn't handle yeah it was even disintegrating. It, 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 even it was like burning up that sort of thing yeah so i would be perfectly fine if maybe it's something like uh andy's character is this like human guy palpatine possesses him he has the force now and palpatine can possess him because of it and palpatine or the dark spirit away from him <laughs> Pardon me, like something happens to him and his body just starts to like be destroyed by this. And then that sort of, he starts to get more towards the Snoke look and then maybe to make a clone of him. And that's then the body that is Snoke as we see him. Mm. But I think that the volunteer is whoever is going to become Snoke. No idea who the character is, just that I yeah. think or hope. I don't think it anyone would be... knows. It's not even yeah. told. Yeah. I think it's totally it's... original. I'd, I'd, pref- I'd like if it was a totally original character in the sense of, you know, yeah. like as much as like, because yeah. like it need to be a yeah, an need established to be character know. you know but yeah no idea like, anything about yeah. the character i think that it would make sense that whoever is being the volunteer if this is a project is going to lead to snoke would be 
played by Andy. That's and that's yeah. that's my hope. I do have one theory. This is really like just there's literally nothing to back this up. But once again, it's the theory. That's fine. I, I, I think it makes because, sense because again, we're in the dark from here on out. Yeah. we don't know what's gonna happen. So yeah, exactly. go for it. I don't think this this makes sense. I just don't think there's anything to back it up. Mm. Um, and it's example. It's just the theory that um, the whole idea that I brought up the start of the of the podcast with who Sasha's character would be with the acolytes of the beyond these sort of Sith worshipping people that then is who we see in Rise Skywalker uh was wrong about Sasha being one of them you know what I'm not gonna embarrass myself even further although <laughs> I secretly think she could still be anyway um <laughs> um yeah it, I think it would make sense that whoever's Andy, Andy's character is whoever's volunteering for this procedure to help bring up Palpatine would be a member of that cult mm, because yeah. where else are you gonna find someone that would happily like let their body be experimented on to help bring back the Sith Lord then then also if this guy is a major member of this cult and he's like volunteering for procedure he would absolutely be the one that would have Vader's lightsaber then because oh yeah if the cult, if the cult has Vader's lightsaber it would be like the leader of them that would be this guy that's <sighs> which being experimented, experimented on to become Snoke so yeah. Sno- Snoke essentially would have Vader's lightsaber. Mm. I mean, theory. I wouldn't mind if Vader's lightsaber wasn't even in it, but like if mm. it's a connection to the cult and then t- a connection to Rise of Skywalker and then also a connection to Snoke, yeah. I would just be happy because then it's like, yeah. it makes sense now. Exactly, yeah. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I, f- I really do think that I, I would be... I, I d- like the only reason I'm so confident that they definitely are like, as we guessed, working on Snoke is just the music choice when we saw the clones. Mm-hmm. It's almost exactly the music that plays when we see Snoke in Last Jedi. So like, and just the visual of when was the last time yeah. we saw a deformed humanoid body and, like, growing in a the tank? Head. You know? The head yeah. kind of looks like Snoke's head. So it's like, yeah. mm, probably yeah. is. It's definitely, I think that's definitely what they're working on. And but they just need more blood. So yeah. either they get it from the kid. Oh, they get it from Ahsoka. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm really interested about that. I I think they have to get it from the kid because no offense to Ahsoka, but I just think we've been sort of it's sort of been set up that Yoda species is their blood yeah. is saturated with midichlorians. I think Ahsoka is really powerful, but I don't think even she would come close to how much yeah, because she is powerful, powerful but she, I don't is. think her blood would have a lot. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's I think it's just Yoda species is just specifically mm. they need someone that strong. Yeah. Um. Certainly, the kid th- to die. certainly, they'd be able to get more blood from her than they could from the kid. But I just don't know if yeah. it would be as useful for them. I really think that uh, they're working on Snoke, and it would make perfect sense that well, they're working on Palpatine. I think this this will also make more sense about where Snoke came from. That they're yeah. working on Palpatine, and the cloning of stuff getting rid of Palpatine is going to fail, and they're going to accidentally make Snoke, and then they'll just go, well, Palpatine will realize, well, he has a use for this guy. Yeah, you know, and I, and I think that makes sense as well. If like if if Snoke is originally like a cult leader or something of C- the the Sith and everything, I could easily buy that Palpatine's control over him he has when he says he made Snoke. It's not that Palpatine's possessing him the entire time. It's this guy that's loyal to Palpatine and that Palpatine's min- like sort of telling him what to do. Yeah, but he's yeah. not controlling him exactly. This guy's still his own independent person, but he's basically Palpatine's put him in places. You're in charge of everything while I'm. Com- coming back because even i was thinking kind of like what you were saying before with the whole cloning of snoke even when his body's mm. disintegrating i was thinking like maybe he becomes even more deformed and just weird looking after um palpatine kind of enters his body yeah. as well yeah, yeah. And, like his body just becomes like disheveled and kind of like the whole thing with what happened it's a bit different but with anakin and as darth vader like his whole body yeah. just was like he was so he was not that old again like we said before like yeah. he wasn't that old when he died and yet he looked so old yeah. Um, so I'm guessing that kind of would have happened to Snoke as well. They get this guy, like, it's exactly the word is a transfusion. Like, they're trying to get this, they're trying to give this guy force powers, not trying to clone this guy, they're trying to give him force yeah. powers because the true transfusion of this blood means that, like, they're trying to give him the ability to have force powers. So I could buy it that they're trying to get him force powers so then he can connect with Palpatine's spirit, Palpatine can possess him, but then doing so might just, like, burn up his body. Yeah. But and I the subjects w- the subjects in the tanks, and they said how, like, we've already had trials on a number of subjects and none of them survived more than a fortnight. Which those are does, already clo- yeah. Those are already clones of him that they've got, like, just, like, dummies to test on, basically. Yeah. It's like, before I we try it on the, real, on the real person. I don't think it would be out of place to... I don't think Palpatine, like, straight up, Palpatine would appear, and I don't. Think I think maybe Ian, his voice. I, 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 maybe I'm not maybe. sure. If, I don't think they need it. Cool. Ian. I think I could buy if it's just like they're doing this experiment, 
and his character is like there, so like sitting like somewhere on altar or something, and he just like sort of like sort of dark side energy, something like Steve Alfred, and he just sort of opens his eyes and just starts talking like the mannerisms and speech pattern of Palpatine. And it's that like, would be oh, cool too. And it's like, I would be happy with that they, too. They don't say directly that it's Palpatine possessing him, but it's just like, oh shit, that's Palpatine. When they do like this whole arc of like taking it further, they could really like sort of lean into the kind of um uh lean into the Indiana Jones references with it of like have it sort yeah. of like have it be this scene like of the opening of the Ark of the Covenant and like oh, whole this idea of like scene, this, like yeah, yeah. we feel surrounded yeah. this power just like yeah yeah and just like just him. the whole idea of this like you know this military group using this like cutting edge science but then also trying to yeah. find like these ancient artifacts to try yeah. and like you know summon a power it looks like it could have such an indiana jones feel yeah. I, 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 like, a very simple way of getting the vibe across would be if when he like possesses uh andy's character or something he just says the line from rise of skywalker where he says like right when he pos- when his body re- heals and everything he says look what you have made or something like that and if he just says so andy says something like that as he like you know he's like maybe lightning arcing between his fingers or something as he's like he's yeah. th- he feel he thinks he's restored <laughs> mm. then, yeah. then eventually the body won't work and he'll have to try something again but he's like yeah. he's these palpatine's gotten into a force sensitive body now yeah. and it's control and it just it. shows that it's worked but yeah. as we know already it does fail but oh yeah. that would be sick i'm intrigued now that yeah this is uh what the fact call that it. they've mentioned it has just opened so many doors yeah. <laughs> It's it's really interesting. Like I think a lot of people uh, are like sort of been thinking that so far because the Soka hasn't turned up because Gideon hasn't used the Dark Saber. Something a lot of people thinking that so far it's just been filler. For me, I think the only episode that's been kind of filler was the Ice Planet one. That's but what that I was, thought. This, I don't think this yeah. was a filler episode. I, I don't think no. the one of yeah. I don't, this one wasn't really this one wasn't really filler because it's set up. We're getting the overarching over. We're getting learning about okay, this is what they're up to. And in the previous mm. episode we had Bo, and that's progressed the plot as well. I think the next four episodes are just. I feel like the next four episodes are just gonna go go go, and they're yeah. not gonna. Yeah, and especially now that stop. we don't know anything that's gonna happen because we've literally seen yeah. all the footage for the trailer. So yeah. now we don't know anything. So yeah, it's all. It's, I think it's just gonna. It's not gonna stop now. Yeah. Um, How many episodes do we have left? Four. four. Number four. Oh yeah. no, we're it's, already halfway. Yeah. It's yeah. Things are gonna kick off real yeah. quick, I think. And so on Twitter, don't know if you saw this, Amy. Me and Xander both saw it, and we're very excited about it. Uh, I don't think leaked is the right term. Anyway, they, 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 the, the, someone found out. Found out the. Next episode, of Mando is written and direct, written and directed by Dave Filoni. I was guessing that because yeah. even on my reaction, I was like, "He's directing it, and he's probably going to write it." Yeah. Because again, this is his baby. Ahsoka and, is his baby. He's going to look after on, it. On top of that, the title was revealed. The Jedi. Uh, yeah, just the Jedi is the name of the episode. Like, yes. <laughs> now a lot of people were saying, well, a lot of people in the um in the comments tweets about that were saying, but she's te- not technically not a Jedi anymore. One, I'd say uh, it doesn't matter. Din thinks she's a Jedi. Yeah. Two, it occurred to me. Wait, is it even the title referring to her, or is it referring to the Jedi Order? Yeah, the Je- Jedi. Jedi is, a- Jedi is like not just a singular term. Yeah. So the the Jedi could just be the episode could just be about mm. the Jedi, and she's yeah. not a Jedi, but she's teaching him about them. Yeah, about I, I, the that history. would make sense. And the other thing that I thought of, of um, I thought we can touch upon an interesting thing of how she is by any, by a number of margins. Ahsoka is a Jedi and could be described as a Jedi and seen as a Jedi, but she doesn't see herself as one. The complete opposite of how um, Bo-Katan and the Night Owls, by all means, are Mandalorians, but Din at first didn't see them as that because they didn't yeah. follow the creed. And it's yeah, like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I very true. Oh yeah, that's right. I have a note written down here about was it we were talking about already the parallel between uh, Jedi and the Watch. Um, mm, yes. Well, no, no. Actually, that's what we talked about. We, we we talked about how the watch potentially like they didn't save in. They like stole him away, and mm. then like you know they just they steal children and train them up into warriors. That could be a dark secret about them, and you know maybe that's what didn't happen. He just saw as him being rescued because his parents died. He was about to be killed, and they saved him. But they were just he was just an easy target take yeah and it just occurred to me the parallel between the jedi and the watch that, oh yeah jedi kidnap children and train them too and that that's just to be really yeah. simple parallel about damn the, yeah that's very watch, true actually the watch are just like exactly the same as the jedi they just take children and train them into warriors Oof. and it's gonna be interesting if that's a topic for next episode yeah. or even episodes in the future that'll be interesting i yeah. wouldn't be surprised if that's something that like can yeah. come up i hope so that'll mm. be good i just want to say this is completely off topic just very quick 
it's fine. I'm gonna sound like an idiot, but sure. <laughs> I just I just want to mention this because I did I did have mention it to Xander last night that I still, admittedly, I'm still annoyed about Sasha's character reveal. Now, <laughs> let me You're preface. Still salty about it. Let, I can let tell. me let me let me preface <laughs> by saying it must be it must be pointed out that Sasha's character, as I did say, she is almost exactly dressed like Kylo Ren, right? And yeah, it was we did speak weird. about that. Yeah, she was weird that she was kind of just watching, like Mando in the in the group crowd, and then she sort of disappeared and came back later. I think like at the time I thought, okay, I think that that scene uh, was not like setting up her as a Mandalorian. That scene was literally just to make people think about who is she, misdirect yeah, about who misdirect she is, misdirect everybody, and then she's like, you know, she's a Mandalorian. Mm. But it did occur to me: is it is it a double misdirection? Is it not a coincidence she was dressed like Kylo Ren? And as Xander pointed out, we're talking about it, for some people I'd point out, there's a couple shots in episode three where Bryce just holds on her for some reason. And the camera just sort of looks at her for just yeah, some reason. And she, and she just sort of looks at Din for a little bit and for no particular reason. And looks reason. at the child as well. There yeah. was a couple of moments where she was looking at yeah. the child. So it occurred to me that is she really a night owl or could could, could I crossing? have been could I have been right somehow? And is she a double agent that's with this Sith cult? I mean it's possible and... because we have seen like double crosses yeah. in like mandalore so mm. it could be possible which if so is genius that they introduced oh, her yeah. as, lo- as looking like this sort of dark side person everyone thinks that no i don't think she's dark side that's too obvious i think she's mandalorian so oh well you know she's mandalorian oh my god and bo's here too and there's a no she was a dark side person it's just they that they got you think focusing on her so you wouldn't notice bo and then it, now you're focusing on bo so you're not thinking about her again and they get yeah. you twice you know what do you uh, think alex <laughs> Uh, I'm. I, I. We'll. We'll see. We'll see. But okay. like, maybe she's got a twin sister. I don't know. You know. <laughs> maybe it's a twin sister watching Din, and then there was she's. Maybe. Yeah. I have no idea. Uh, maybe it's a clone of her. That's the dark side one watching. Oh my god. Maybe oh, it's. No okay, idea. that's a little this far. Is, this is going over. But I don't know. I think there's something going on with her. It could be. It could be something. It could be nothing. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. I just want to. I just like. I just want to say stuff like that on this podcast. So if I'm right, I have nah! evidence that I that I thought of it before it was revealed. This is Stamp, not a yeah, discussion I was right. area, so it's fine. Yeah. You're yeah. safe. I was directing. I thought the one thing that stood out to me specifically, his um dogfight sequence. He directed fantastic. Oh god, yeah, yeah. that was really well done. That was really good. That sequence, the dogfight. I was yeah. impressed with that. Just the shot of like um. Just shot of the razor crest and then the the tie just like miles yeah! apart, just like flying. My favorite each other. shot of the that, whole that episode. one was great, beautiful. And I also really liked the shot, even though it wasn't my photographic memory and just photographic mind was just like get it in the middle. But when the doors mm-hmm. parted, and I did have like a mini heart attack because I did it did remind me of Vader with like the smirk and stuff. I was like, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Mind. When when Gideon was in that that yeah. that that's that was perfectly. so that was beautiful. That shot just with all the smoke. Yeah. So yeah, that was that segues good, really, really beautifully really beautiful into my shot. final points of uh, the the dark troopers that Gideon. Yes. I, I just wanted to say one last thing before we get into that because oh, I want to talk biggest thing to say about it. Um, uh, with Carl's directing is I really 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 liked the um the opening fight scene with Kara against the bandits and uh, yeah. it's sort of like it had a real like wrestling vibe about it yeah and i thought I well wait a minute because we've got we've got an mma fighter directed by um by adonis creed so yeah. it's like yeah, yeah this is like it's definitely gonna like have a bit of a wrestling feel yeah and I, also i think like good yeah. props to him because this is a challenge for him yeah. like he did a rocky film but then yeah. like doing star wars like yeah even though it's, it's a tv like, show it's so different and like yeah. doing the cinematography is so different, etc. And I think he did a really good job. So he nailed if, it. Yeah. If yeah. he gets another chance to direct next season, I, I hope. Mind yeah, I hope he does another work. one next season because yeah. he did a really good job. Yeah, and just see if like like just to see if he improves on the, if he does another episode as well. That'll be nice. Yeah, yeah. I think I because like we really don't know a lot about um Chris Cargo as a character. I'd like to see like mm. an. Ep- going into his backstory a little bit that's something i'd like to see yeah. next season we, we know a lot like not a lot but we know like hints of what Kara's done so i think yeah i think it's time we get something about grief soon mm. oh yeah yeah where the hell's the armor that's right that's another thing that's oh, thing. Yeah. yeah yeah we need to speak about her yeah where's yeah. she gone that's yeah another... so I'm, I'm guessing she escaped mm. um because it seemed because the um also the um what's it called the thing on top of the door was gone yeah Oh yeah, so, that yeah. I'm guessing she. Someone in my comment section said she's either taken it or either Moff Gideon took it, or she's gone and she's like she's like 
un like working in the underground still not in that area but maybe somewhere else and she's just like laying low yes um i hope she didn't get killed off screen yeah oh i don't think definitely. so i, I hope not yeah. everybody loved yeah. her yeah it's just it's one of those things where it's like um uh what do you call it um i completely forgot what i was gonna say <laughs> it's one of those things I, it's, one of those it is, things. it's one of those things yeah yeah, I don't know. I, it's I really hope that she didn't just. I I don't think she would have died, but it's like I don't know if because that's that's the thing. Like Gideon seemingly died. They all went back to like rebuilding mm. Navarro. That's what they're all up to. But then he didn't survive. So what did he do once he re, uh, like um once he regrouped with all of his forces? Mm. You know. Yeah. Like what what happened then? And as we know now where he came from when then we turn up in his tie fighter where all his forces came from was just like just a you know up just like across just the planet across the planet yeah that that the space so he could easily just regrouped back of his forces there i don't know i hope hopefully she's she's all right but i i don't know he easily could have come back for her yeah I we would like, like to see the armorer <laughs> <laughs> i hope either she she's alive or she's been captured kind of like yeah. what we said last yeah. episode I really yeah. hope, like, mm. she's still in the show at least. Mm. And I mean, maybe she may have been stripped of her armor. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? So, anyway, Dark Troopers. Yeah, yeah the Dark, dark Troopers. troopers. Gideon's yeah. like, like 30 or so Dark Troopers. They were so many. Yeah, so Dark Troopers officially haven't turned up in canon yet, apparently. Mm. Uh, I've never oh, seen so, uh, them before. So that's why I was like, are they dark troopers? Not dark troopers, sorry. It's a death troopers or something. So mm, that's why I was confused until they, you guys told me. They, we saw precursors to them in Rebels. Fraun had some mm. some of them as like training droids, but they weren't really like optimized for active combat. He was able to defeat them fairly easily. Um, Whoa, wait himself. a minute. Hold mm. on. Hold on. Oh, I just saw on, I was looking for um so on Star Wars League someone had a screenshot of all of the dark troopers like in the in their docking bays and like they just brightened it so you can like get make out a lot more of the mm -hmm. details i was just looking through trying to find that picture and someone said there yeah, they watched the episode with the audio description on and it refers to them as dark troopers oh ah. so it's like yeah, yeah. okay yeah they're definitely that's the one that appeared in rebels that's like it's like a precursor to this they're like security droids and fraun used them for training i don't believe they're specifically mm -hmm. like designed for active combat unlike um yeah, unlike uh, what the Dark Troopers are designed for. So, mm. yes, those are the... I'll just pop a picture in the group chat so you can throw nice. it up on the screen. Oh, yeah, there they are. Yeah, oh, so that God. was the ones we saw in Rebels. And these ones like are definitely, I'd say, similar looking to that compared to Legends Dark Troopers, but they look they're more intense looking, you know? Mm -hmm. And the music in this part as well was just terrifying. Yeah. So when you know the music's terrifying, you know they're going to be terrifying. There's hardly any good for. pictures of there's hardly any good pictures of them around anyway. But then like the ones from um the uh Dark Forces g game, which I've um brilliant, one of my favorites of the Star mm. Wars games. Um, there's like the Phase Ones is sort of like what these ones oh. kind of and like when you look at them, it's like they have yeah. they've got like the, all of the tubes sticking out of them, like these ones have, and they have a shield. Mm. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh, it's a baton. Is that a baton or a blade? The blade. It's blade. a massive blade. Okay. Yep. That's Thin, menacing. but looks dangerous. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm starting to get anxiety. We're gonna. Uh. Yeah. That's. That's. Yeah. Ahsoka. So Din's gonna catch up with Ahsoka. They're gonna have like a moment to like interact. <gasps> oh with my each god! Other, what if that's what happens? What if we have sense the platoon of dark troopers to go and capture the child and Ahsoka oh. probably and kill yeah, Din? Yeah. Because I was thinking maybe Din leaves. Like, maybe. Like, he gives the child to Ahsoka, and he's like, okay, cool. And then, not cool, but, you know, he's yeah, like, yeah. okay, I've done my duty. He begins to leave, and then he sees the troopers go in, and they get Ahsoka, they get the kid, and then mm. he goes back maybe because guilty conscience, kind of like what happened last season. Yeah. He goes back, and then he realizes they're gone. Yeah. yeah. But, maybe. yeah, ah! I, I, I feel like that this platoon is going to be sent to go capture the child yeah. yeah it's like that and also they fully know that they're going there to capture the child they're following yeah. to catch the child because like gideon specifically asked is he still in is he still in possession of the asset and like yeah. yep he definitely is so yeah. and then they're about to lead him they're about to Mando's about to lead him to another jedi 
you know? Yeah, which is like, because that's why I also wrote down, but then we started talking about it, and then I was like, probably not. But like, Mm. I was thinking like, maybe Gideon abandons the asset and goes for Ahsoka Mm. instead. But Mm. then I'm not sure, like, how Din would react to that. Like, would Din want to go save Ahsoka? So that's the thing. I don't think, I think it'll be the kid and Ahsoka, and then Din will go maybe and save him. Mm. I think that they're probably not going to have any interest in Ahsoka from the cloning perspective. I think that Moff Gideon's have some specific interest in her because he knows who she is. Yeah. That's my like, Once he my knows assumption. who she is, he'll be like, oh, information. Yeah. I can get yeah. stuff from her. He knows yeah. that she fought with Bo-Katan during the Siege of Mandalore. Mm. So is- things are going to go real quick, re- real quick, real fast, starting oh, from yeah. this, the next episode. Just because they've only got four episodes left, it means this one is going to have Ahsoka and being hunt- them hunted down by the Empire. Then the next episode needs to happen, and whatever happens that next episode has to then set up the two-part fina- finale. Yeah. So That's true, yes. Mm. It's gotta, they don't, we don't have time to slow down. Yeah, yeah it's going to be yeah. quick, quick, quick from then on. So, And yeah. also, I'm not sure if you saw Mitch, but I told Alex because I saw it when I was scrolling, and mm. three people said this, it's going to be a 58-minute episode. Next week? Yeah. Oh, wow. Th- is that longer than the first That's episode? That's the longest. That's the first longest. episode was 55 minutes. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Good. I like this. So, we, get... All right. we might get cool. be... we, yeah. we might be getting longer episodes for the last four episodes. Cool. Cool. I like that. What if, like, the fi- the last three episodes are all, like, just, like, a, a three-parter? Same as how, like... I would like, be fine with that. With I would be so be happy good. with that. You know? Do yeah. we know Do think... who's writing the next few episodes after Dave? Probably just John again. I know that Tyka's not doing an episode Sadly, because he's busy with so he's many busy things. He's filming. <laughs> yeah. And um, uh, Deborah Chow is busy doing Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. So she's not doing an episode either. She's got but her own I th- priorities. <laughs> I think, as I recall, potentially James Mangold might be doing an episode. Because Ooh. I remember a few months ago there was sort of like leaked that someone said that Robert Rodriguez and James Mangold are doing an episode each. James said, no, I'm not. And then Robert posted, uh, posted a picture on Instagram of him with his clapperboard for Mando. And then, so like, of <laughs> so, course. Either, so either they just got so, one right or James is like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not doing one. I actually am yeah, not. Just... They said that neither of them are episodes, but they're directing sequences of an episode. Yeah. I think Robert is actually directing a full episode from what he said and what the um has been said. But I think James maybe it could be a situation of like he was brought in for like second unit to do something. My thinking being if they are indeed going to be doing the Boba Fett spin-off series, he's going to be directing that because yeah, which is announced, fair enough. They announced a couple of years ago that he was going to be directing the Boba Fett film before that was again shelved due to mm. Solo's low box office performance. And so I thought, well, mm they'll get him to do the show then. And then it's probably he'll do some yeah. kind of, there'll be an episode coming up where we find out a little more about what's going on with Boba. He'll direct yeah, that whole hope, sequence. That actually, yeah, uh-huh. I hope we do get a little bit more info on what's go- going on with Boba. Yeah. Cause we literally only saw him at the end. That's yeah. it. So I hope we get more info on him. Yeah. You know what I, I think, as I said, there's, there's some people that have been worried about the idea that if they are doing the spinoff, which there was a, um, leaked production schedule from something that said untitled Boba Fett spin-off series. Mm-hmm. Then so it's like, oh okay, that basically seems like it is happening. They've like yeah. put the legal stuff in place for like getting the production going and with like, you know, COVID and everything. Yeah, but yeah, then yeah. um someone said they're worried that Boba's whole appearance in the first episode of Mando was just like a sort of setup and tease yeah, for no, this. I, but I thought uh... I don't think Mando's it's the kind of show where they do that. They're like they I hope not. Because like they would I reckon it'll be something like he'll come back later on in this season and there'll be something with him that'll then set up that show. Yeah. yeah. Because... So like we do get some resolution. It would work it have to work in a self-contained enough way that like introduce him, do talk a little bit about him, introduce him to the audience as well, because they don't know anything about him, or at least it's presenting it as if they don't know anything about him, and then yeah. say that's his story here related to Din Dunn. You can go watch the rest of his story in his own yeah. show as well if you mm-hmm. want. That sort of thing. So I think that's that, what I'll do it. Cool, does that mean that they might go back to Tatooine then? I'm guessing they... Well, because I think as well, there's like... Um, I saw everybody theorizing about how um, it seems like it might be a regular thing of the finale where Din gathers together all of the friends they met this season to team up and help. I thought, well, Cobb, Cobb said he's going to... He hopes they cross his paths that's again. I thought, yeah, true. Cobb's coming back, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Cobb's coming back, Bo's coming back. That's I can I believe that. And so, like, maybe Frog Lady, too. Even, and especially you know? because of the fact that we have spoken about the, the lightsaber fight, so mm, Darksaber yeah. versus Moff, or 
Ahsoka yeah. or, you know. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. It could be a situation of, yeah, what if this season ends with the child gets kidnapped in the episode after next and then the first part of the two-part finale is then just going out getting everybody i'm just calling in all my favors yeah. please everybody i need everybody here because you know we've got to rescue yeah. the child at some point i think din is gonna fight gideon basically lose the fight and gideon's gonna either in the fight knock his helmet off or take just take his helmet off and like then that the, the, everyone will see his face or something and he's gonna have to deal with maybe with Bo and ahsoka and the others and something he's gonna have to deal with the fact that he doesn't think he's worthy to put it back on because he he mm. broke his creed. Yeah, he and he has kind of like that identity yeah, crisis and he, again. And he, and he doesn't think that he can put it back on. Oh, I hope so. In a and way. and then the bow and Ahsoka and like the others that God tells like it's in this that your creed that's something that's not what makes you a Mandalorian. Yeah. You know, and yeah. then just because you had you, you had the helmet taken off doesn't mean um you're any less of a mandalorian now that sort of thing something like that uh, yeah and especially because we spoke about it he's so steadfast in his like belief and his following of the creed so he'll have to come to that at his own pace but like mm. if that happens and it's in like the middle of a fight and then like post it he's really like down about it like he'll need to make that decision mm. whether he's like capable of still living the creed but without yeah. the helmet and the well, with the armor, but like without having yeah. the helmet on constantly. Um, mm. like I think uh, the the, the I, I thought at first maybe something like maybe his helmet gets destroyed or maybe Guinea takes his helmet. I thought no, I think it's more compelling if it's taken off, but he still gets it back. Like maybe they get aboard the Razor Crest, mm. they're escaping. He's still lying there, injured, helmet off. Maybe grief for Kara is with him. And they sort of like, you know, they're sort of treating his wounds, like make sure he's okay. And then they get they get his helmet and pass it. Here, here's your helmet. And he just uh, holds it, looks at it, and then just drops it because he mm. can't put it back on. And like he just sort of he just he just sort of looks at it and like doesn't put it on, just sort of drops it down to the floor and just sort of, you know, yeah. And then has and then says to him like, you know, he he can't put it back on now, and something like that of like a moment where it's like, here, here's your helmet. And he just sort of just looks at it, just sort of sad, and just drops it down because he can't. He doesn't think he can put it back yeah. on. Yeah. I hope um, we see something like that. That'll yeah. be really like pushing we're, his character. We're, we're well. built. We're mm. building up to the helmet coming off just from this episode when he was with the child and he just yeah. like, lifted the helmet yeah. off a bit. I was drink, like, <gasps> you know, yeah. like, what details? <laughs> As I said, I think the reason I think he wouldn't do it with anyone else. I think he only does it with a child because technically, a part of the creed, the child is a member of his, yeah, of his like, clan, his clan now, so he can do that. Just you know, yeah, he doesn't mind doing that. Just you know, and it doesn't, you know, doesn't mind the child sees a bit of his face. Um. So yeah, I think that we're we're building up to the helmet coming off. I think yeah, we're building up to some big character moments for like a mm. lot of them in the series. So yeah, I I very just to see where we go next week. Yeah. Anything else, boys? I um, don't... nothing really. Nothing I, I can think so. of. Yeah. This is one other episode where not that much happened, but a lot was set up. Yeah, so. I was gonna yeah, say definitely. Too. It's yeah, another one where we, it's another future. one where we can only really speculate about stuff going forward. Mm. Yeah, which and we're going to have to do that a lot in future now too. <laughs> yeah, which is why I think if, for the people that don't like know as much of the lore as we do, uh, more casual fans, that's why it can seem like filler because mm. it's mm. it's cool for these episodes are cool for what they're setting up, but what actually happens doesn't seem that there's not that much overall. Yeah, but I think we won't have that too much of a problem about that going forward. I think we're going to be going pretty. Yeah, be pretty pretty fast paced, probably yeah. after this episode. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next week. May the force be with you. And this is the way. This is the this way. Is the way. <clears throat> Yay! Hey, there we go. All right. Halfway through. <laughs>